Good evening. Please join in singing our gathering song as indicated in your program. All rise, please.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be always with you. My name is Father Nick Desimone, and as pastor here of St. Mary's Parish, I welcome you as we pray in vigil for our brother priest, Father Dennis O'Brien. Confident that God always remembers the good we have done and forgives our sins, let us pray that the Lord might gather Father O'Brien to himself. Let us pray. O God, listen favorably to our prayers offered for your servant and priest. Grant Father Dennis O'Brien, who committed himself zealously to the service of your name, to rejoice forever in the company of your saints. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed, we have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. We are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord.
To John. Glory to you, Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Sugar, Splenda, Fern, Warbucks. Father Dennis had nicknames for most everyone, which he claimed he never invented, only perpetuated, and that often landed him in trouble. <laughs> While boarding a plane, I mentioned to Father Dennis that I would be sitting with motor. When Dennis arrived at his seat and discovered that he was sitting with the one whom he had nicknamed the weed, he yelled to me across the crowded plain, I've got the weed. <laughs> To which the woman in front of him responded, this should be a fun trip. <laughs> Father Dennis's affinity for nicknames was ironic, especially since he himself 
desperately tried to avoid any nicknames when choosing his own religious name as a monk of Spencer Abbey. He was given the choice of either Bartholomew or Paulinus and chose Paulinus largely because he couldn't stomach the thought of being called Bart. <laughs> so instead, we called him Linus. <laughs> Little did he know how fitting a name Paulinus would be. 1,600 years ago, St. Paulinus of Nola wrote a word of encouragement to a brother in the ministry, urging him to resonare Christum, to echo Christ. These words struck me initially because the earliest memory that many of us have of Dennis is his booming laugh, a guffaw so profound that it resonated down corridors and through walls and across offices. A laughter so expressive that one can't help but laugh along with him. But more profoundly, these words of St. Paulinus, to echo Christ, are reflective of the life of priestly service to which Dennis was called even from his youth. It would be nearly impossible to include all the ways that Father Dennis echoed Christ, so good news for you, I've limited myself to only three. First, he was an exceptionally gifted preacher whose love for the word of God and sacred scripture was evident in every homily he gave every parish mission he preached, and in every class that he taught. I admired Father Dennis's conviction and his ability to hold listeners in rapt attention. He admired me for the ability to be brief, <laughs> a gift he never developed or desired. Believe it or not, Father Dennis was not a naturally gifted preacher. He was terrified of speaking in public and didn't think himself smart enough to preach. But just prior to his ordination to the priesthood, Dennis begged the Lord to give him this gift, and boy, did the Lord deliver. Dennis was what we might call a priest's priest, and I think my brothers would all agree. Dennis loved being a priest and revered the men he called his brothers. For little more than three years, Dennis served as minister to priests, a most challenging ministry for which he volunteered, fool. but. <laughs> but one that he loved and to which he dedicated himself completely. He once told me that his deepest regret as minister to priests was not being able to mentor more and support the young priests in the diocese as they were just starting out. Most of us, I think, would say he did enough, more than enough, but for Dennis, he desired to do more, no matter the personal cost. And lastly, Father Dennis was a people's priest, for lack of a better term. During the height of the pandemic, when Father Dennis and I were quarantined in the rectory along with Father Jose Carvajal, one of our newest priests, and Michael Hoy, soon to be ordained a transitional deacon, we made the best of things by watching some of Father Dennis's favorite movies like Going My Way <laughs> and The Bells of St. Mary's. <laughs> Father Dennis loved the scene toward the end of The Bells of St. Mary's when Father Chuck O'Malley, played by Bing Crosby, of course, says to Sister Mary Benedict, and if you ever need anything, 
no matter what it is or wherever you happen to be, just dial O for O'Malley. Father Dennis's students from his time at, as headmaster at Holy Name High School will undoubtedly remember the same parting words to every graduating class. If you ever need anything, no matter what, or wherever you happen to be, just dial O for O'Brien. What strikes me is that he meant it. As he showed time and time again, Dennis was always willing to put himself out to respond to the needs of parishioners and students and brother priests, for me, and even total strangers, especially the poor, for whom he held a particular affection. Just a quick aside. When planning his funeral, Father Dennis left instructions that he wished for his body to be carried to the cemetery, not in a hearse, of course, but in the back of my Jeep. <laughs> he noted, and I quote, no hearse, I'm serious. Please don't waste good money that can be donated to charity. Well, rest easy, pal. I asked the funeral home and they assured me they aren't charging you for the hearse. <laughs> in times of celebration, in tragedy, for weddings, anniversaries, baptisms, funerals, and all the in-between times, at hospitals, nursing homes, family gatherings, and rectories. No matter what it was, or wherever you happened to be, you could count on O'Brien to be there. To echo Christ. Dennis's priesthood over 44 years, his good humor and hearty laugh, his intense love for others, including the poor, are all but echoes of Christ and evidence of a life lived in union with him. And so on behalf of myself, my brother priests, the people of God whom you loved and tirelessly served, your family, and the hundreds of us here whom you counted as your closest friends. <laughs> I suppose all that's left to say is, thanks, pal. Let us turn to Christ Jesus with confidence and faith in the power of his cross and resurrection. That the bishops and priests of the church and all who preach the gospel may be given the strength to express in action the word they proclaim. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may promote justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who bear the cross of pain in mind or body may never feel forsaken by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may deliver the soul of his servant, Father O'Brien, from punishment and from the powers of darkness. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, in his mercy, may blot out all his offenses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may establish him in light and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may call him to happiness in the company of all the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may welcome into his glory those of our family and friends who have departed from this life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may give a place in the kingdom of heaven to all the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for Father Dennis's uncle, John, that he may be comforted in his need and know the closeness of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercies, hear the prayers of your church and lead the faithful departed to the glories of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our true home is in heaven. Let us pray to our heavenly Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you are attentive to the voice of our pleading. Let us find in your Son comfort in our sadness, certainty in our doubt, and courage to live through this hour. Make our faith strong, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Let the light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in